girl Jazz, y'all already know. And I got an artist with me today that's very special. I'm gonna let him in introduce himself um, and we can go from there. This is Hitman H25, fresh out the federal penitentiary, man. It's been a while, but I'm finally going ahead and do this, you know, straight out of Boston, Massachusetts. But VA is not just for lovers, but hustlers and gangsters. We out here, met some solid real niggas out here, and I love the city. It's my second home. I'm out here. This is my very first interview, so. Shout out to Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, all right, man. So you said Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. All right, so how would you say where you from has inspired like your music? Everything that came, every word that come out of my mouth is still resonating from the original. The original is where, I, where I'm originally from. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, West Side, but I'm originally from Boston, so I grew up out there. And Boston is not what you've seen. You know, um, I've been through much trials and tribulations. And it has inspired my music, most, most everything, about pretty much 98%. Okay. And since most of the people watching probably won't know you already, you want to talk a little bit about, you know, your style as an artist, what your music is about, what type of music you make, so they can really, you know, paint the picture for them. Okay. okay. Um, to be honest with you, you are going to figure my style out, because I'm a songwriter. And I'm a songwriter in the sense I write for myself, but I can write Brother. So uh, shout me out if you're looking for, if you hear my music and you like, yo, I fuck with that style or whatever, it is what it is. You can talk to me. I got too many styles. I am a band. I am a whole band. But my music, it's me. What happens is once you learn who you are, you can learn everybody else. I don't care where you come from, from the bottom to the top. You understand people. And um, with that being said, my music resonates with everybody. Uh, it's commercialized, but it also can be for the churches, it can be for uh, regular nine to five, it's everything. You will definitely resonate with my music. So if you're looking for me, you can find me on Hitman825. That's H-I-T-M-A-N-N, -N, two N's, 825. Put that shit all together. You can find me on all music platforms, Apple, Spotify, motherfucker, whatever you're looking for, YouTube. But also that's the gram and everything else as well. Snap, all that. Follow me, Hitman825, put it all together. You said this is your first interview. You said this is your first interview. Yeah, I yes, believe most you. Definitely. I promise you, no, no, this is why. I'm a vibe. I am who I am. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I speak in front of much crowd, so this is my very first interview, but I've definitely spoken in front of many people. I'm not scared because I am who I am. Even when your heart beat, nigga, you been in pressure before. What you gonna do, you gonna back up or not? So it's the same shit. How can I be ready to slide on some shit knowing 12 might be here or whatever situation my heart being because I'm about to do something, but I'm scared to talk in front of a whole bunch of people. So it is what it is. You know, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I am a vibe. I'm your whole way. Hey man, it's too far. Right. So, okay, so I wanna learn a little bit more about you. Um, tell me about like. Okay, so first off, let me dive into how old you are. And Ooh, that's a touchy subject. <laughs> You don't want to talk about that? Yeah, we can edit all of this. So no, wait, don't... I don't want nothing edited. This is raw. <coughs> nothing raw, is unedited. Straight raw. Nothing is unedited. But look, I'm an 80s baby. I'll say that, all right? I'm an 80s baby. I'm a, I'm a late 80s baby. Um, I've been through a lot and all that. So, but look, you know, I look good, don't I? You know I look good, yeah. And I'm, I look good, but I fed time, all that. Oh, I ain't see. They got to know more about me. You don't know about me. Jasmine, yeah. shout out to Mr. Jasmine. Full package. You yeah. can follow that at full package underscore, right? Yeah. Full package underscore. Shout out to the guy of the year, my brother, Lego Keys. You can also follow him at Bag and Tags, everything. I swear to God. But um, back to me. Um, yeah, I'm a fair baby for real. I did eight years, went back, did another year, plus a state time, and I was all together about 13 years of my life. Is in the so, with that, I had to do all that, but so I'm here now. And y'all definitely gonna remember me after this. This is definitely my very first interview. I'm with the lovely Miss Jasmine. Shout out to your belated birthday. Yeah, okay, you. high five. Yeah, we gonna be turning yeah. up. You know, I got my old lady here with me. Man, yeah. my queen is in the building. I got my sister, my blood sister. She got bars as well. But what was your question? I'm gonna let. Hey, okay. shout out to Fire Up, uh, Fire Up, Bar and Bristol. Yeah. I said it right. Yeah. Bistro. Not <laughs> Bristol, but bistro. 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 There you go. Man, yeah. shout out to them for everything, man. Lovely interview. Yeah, thank you. All right, tell them one more time where they can find you at your socials and everywhere that your music is at so they can listen to it. And um, also, do you have any like, recent albums, any recent 
drops that you want them to listen to specifically? I want you to listen to as well. Okay. For our second interview or the year round. When, that, when this is my first interview, we get to do it. Yeah. I just dropped a new EP. It's called Don't Love Me Be Lord. Very briefly to explain what that means. Don't love me be Lord. I know it already resonates in your soul already. Like, damn, that sounds good. But yeah. Um, love come in three stages. Love is a noun, it's just a word. I love you. I'm in love with you or I got love for you. I got love for you like a friend. But nigga, when you get booked or you're in a bad time, they're like, damn, that's all I just say, damn, man. Then you in love with somebody. It's a, it's very temporary to be in love with somebody. I don't give a fuck you've been married goddamn 50 years. You're not, you're not in love with this person for 50 years. It's just a feeling. It's a chemical imbalance that touched you. And when you hear that motherfucking name, like, Jasmine. Like, Which one? You. The only one. I'm talking about. <laughs> fuck you talking about. Come here. Come here and sit next to me. You talking about. Yeah. I respect my queen, yeah, yeah. I do what I do, I'm an entertainer, but I respect my queen at the end of the day. No, this is part of my energy. At the end of the day, all right, as I was saying. Um, then you got the third stage of love, unconditional love, like a child does. Yeah. Like a like a mama love his a son or a daughter. That's unconditional, that shit for hell. I don't give a fuck if my son was a murderer. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to do no crazy shit, but I still ain't got no, no choice but to love that person. That's that family love, all right? Yeah. But all in all in well, the action behind love is loyalty. All right, show me how loyal you are as a person will will make me understand as the op is the one that I'm partnering with you, with you whether it's um, whether we're in a relationship, whether it's a business partnership, whether you're my bro, my sis, or whatever the type of situation or relationship that it is. Your loyalty describes and explains and shows the action behind if you really truly do love me. I've been in a federal penitentiary with a nigga that was doing three life sentences plus 18 years he beat a death sentence. He said, those, some people think they're supposed to love the people that, some people think they're supposed to love people that they love, but others know they love the ones that love them. To love me is to show me your loyalty. All right. So with that being said, that's the name of the album. Don't love me, be loyal to you. It's Hitman 825 on all social media that just dropped there earlier last month. You can definitely check it out.